What's up guys? Welcome to Beastly Garage. And yeah, different little scenery going on here because you know with the COVID virus, everyone's at home. So your boy's trying to be respectful and, and give people their family room because that's where I'm filming most of my videos in my family room. So I'm in the garage today, which is fitting because it's Beastly Garage. And right there, we got the whip behind us. We got all my junk, my lawnmower, and it smells like gas in here. So if I pass out in the middle of this review, yeah, hopefully I get through it. On one of these, uh, you know, these mechanic things like this. And uh, so if you hear that noise, that's what's going on. Anyway, we got some unboxings to do. I got two boxes in. I'm gonna get a bunch of boxes in this week, but pretty much all the same shoe. Um, I don't know which one I got right here, but let's just go ahead, open one up. Let's get to it. All right, box number one up. Here we go. It is SNS. I actually hit on SNS for these shoes. First time hitting on SNS for anything. They are the Air Jordan Retro High OG Court Purple Black White. This isn't my first pair. I got my pair from On Foot already. I got them from Hibbit. Good looking out Hibbit. Any extras that come my way, your boy is keeping. I'm gonna snatch them up. I think these are the shoes to keep long term. I'm thinking a year. I'm gonna hold these. I'm gonna hold every pair that I get because in this color blocking, that purple is fire. Fire in my opinion. Court purple. Yeah, I did that corny thing. I'm wearing a purple shirt. This is more of the Concord color from the Concords, but it, it, it kind of works, right? Can we get a thumbnail, Kateen? When I first saw a picture of these shoes, I loved them. These are definitely number one on my cop list for like the first half of this year. And I'm glad I was able to cop me a pair or two or three or four or five or six. Put one down and da 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 and da da You go, it's been a long time since I did that. Felt good. The court purple Jordan 1 OG high thing. Now, if I could smell anything but gasoline, which is all through this garage. Oh no, no, no. <sighs> no, they smell good. They smell good. These are nice ass shoes. Now, of course, it is not that that premium, as some will call it, because you know you got your leather snobs and then your leather snob snobs, the ones who say that this leather is good leather and crinkle leather isn't good leather. And y'all know how y'all are, who cares? I like what I like. I like this shoe. On this shoe, I don't mind it having a more flat type, non-textured leather, but the leather actually is pretty damn good in my opinion. I am O. These are all right. The leather on the white is, I think, better than the leather on the purple. The purple is a lot stiff, but it's cool. It's cool. It's not bad. These look like they're going to wear pretty damn good. Let's go around. You can see the back. The leather is pretty consistent all the way throughout. Yep, 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 yep. Come with uh, black shoelaces inside. Then on the inside, it has these bad boys, these like uh, bleach looking, tie-dyed, purpley thingies. I'm definitely gonna just stick with the black laces. I told you already before, go back a couple videos ago, I said, hold these, grab these. These are cheap, these are cheap right now. I got a feeling, I could be wrong, I think I'm not. I got a feeling these will go for at least $100 more than they are this time next year. These shoes are gonna be $300 plus. I got SNS. Hibbit sneakers, I got three pair, and then I got a pair from Foot Action. So I got six pairs of these, and I'm gonna hold on to all six, except for the one I'm gonna wear, because I'm gonna rock some throughout the summer, as long as summer's not canceled. Y'all know what I mean. If you got them, hold them, unless you wanna rock them and put them to feet, put them to feet. I even got a grade school pair, so cha-ching. And get to the unboxing of the other shoe I got. Let me see what that bad boy is. Here's the other box. Let's take a stab at it. <laughs> Literally, like a stab at it. Okay. This is not like a box I've seen before. Look how it got like this overlapping lid. Can I reuse this bad boy? All right, that's different. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I know what it is. 
and it is not the same shoe, which is good. Okay, this is an Adidas box. I haven't seen an Adidas box come like this. Adidas 350, or Adidas 350. It's simple as linen, linen, linen. I've already sold this pair. Um, I wasn't even gonna go for these at 10, 20, 25-ish a.m. Saturday morning, and it said you had five minutes left to enter the Adidas draw for these, and I literally was not going to go for them, and I was like, damn it, what the hell? And you know what? Well, and here they are. So I did hit four size 10, um, and then I immediately put them off for sale. So they are already sold, they out of here, gone. I got my money, somebody's gotta get their shoes, and boy, that looks a little roughed up. Different box, roughed up, what's going on at Adidas? The essential workers there doing their thing, so it's all right, I give you a pass, I give you a pass. I've been curious to see what these look like, even though I don't care, because I do not want to buy any more Yeezys to keep, and I'm definitely ain't buying none for the feet. Slight bars. What do y'all think about those? What do y'all think about those? The keeper or no? Keeper or no? Hmm. It's the right time of the year, I think, for these to come out. Springtime feel, summertime feel, definitely a nice, cool, light shoe. Uh, again, I don't wear Yeezys, so I can't really see myself wearing them, but I could see myself, you know, putting the fit together with this colorway. It's really not a bad colorway. I could definitely see this colorway on a lot of female feet. It's kind of like a buttery, sandy, yellowish color. I don't know, but look, you look. And then it's like a blue. Yeah, it's like a blue gray. Let's see if this is reflective. And ah, 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 okay. So yeah, it is reflective. It's all you hype beasts that want reflectives. Why well, you get them right here? Reflectives, these aren't bad. Nice colorway, nice summer, spring colorway. Got reflective. That color looks like it'll go good with like jeans, khakis, whatever. So yeah. I think they're all right. They didn't put that orange boost thing on the bottom here. Why does some of them get the orange boosts and some don't? I, I don't know, I don't really care. Just wanted to knock out a quick unboxing. I'm gonna try not to go too long again without actually putting some some stuff up, some videos up, because I know you guys, I, I know you guys miss me. I know you, I know you do. For anybody that just hit the dislike button, stop it, go back. Take that off, hit the like button, stop being a hater. Uh, oh, hey, you know what else I've been working on? So some of you guys have saw my live, you know I got into um, trying to build a rifle and it's coming there. So I'm just gonna give you guys a little update on what it looks like now. It has been safety check. There is no uh, no bullets, it's never had any bullets in it because it's brand new still. And uh, But I just gotta tell that to the people who are gonna be like, did you clear it to make sure it has no bullets? Everything is empty, never had any rounds through it or in it and uh, chamber is empty and we're all good. But this is my uh, my latest edition. It is an AR-15 Palmetta state build. And uh, yeah, it's looking pretty good. I showed a picture on Twitter and Instagram uh, a few days ago of it when I just got it assembled. Now it is, um, it does have some nice optics on it. I went with uh, kind of a, a lesser known name, but it has the design, the style and the features I want. But uh, yeah, this is my new AR build. I still have a couple more things to do to it and uh, I will consider it done for now. If you're into guns, put down in the comments what type of gun you have or what type of gun you'd like to get in the future and uh, responsible gun owners only I'm talking about. It looks like it's a rifle, it's actually a pistol. Uh, it is technically a pistol. So Pennsylvania is pretty damn cool because we have the concealed carry law we can get permits to conceal carry and this is considered pistol and we can we can conceal carry pistols even though i probably wouldn't conceal carry this i mean like put it in a backpack and stuff if you're going to go out to the range can't wait to get this out on the range and actually shoot it but uh yeah this is my latest addition to the fleet gotta protect the sneaks by any means necessary all right just playing around and that's about it for this video if you didn't already Hit that like button. Please go ahead, smack that like button. Drop a comment down below because your boy tried to respond to every comment, every sensible comment. Subscribe if you didn't subscribe yet. Hit that notification bell so you can be notified every time I drop a video because your boy is very inconsistent. That is a fact, very inconsistent. So with that, I'm out of this joint. Later guys, be safe, I'm out.